Today, we're talking about the British pound GBP USD as it breaks the new 12 month highs. I'll show you the key areas I'm watching where you might want to target if you're long and also what could confirm a correction here over the coming days. We're also gonna take a look at the DXY. Okay, so the pound guys, obviously the last few days have been an incredible run here for these markets uh, as the DXY rotates lower, which we'll talk about in a moment. Uh, but first of all, I do wanna say that there's nothing to confirm a correction for the pound right now. Okay, so in my opinion, this is not where you wanna be shorting this market. Same thing for the Euro. Uh, with that in mind though, you do have to be a little bit careful though because this market is getting a little bit overextended. And furthermore, we also have imbalances that are building up here along the way, right, from candles like this, especially that Friday candle, because if you'll notice where Monday opened, we got really no retracement into that Friday candle. So you've got to be careful when stuff like this occurs, because these areas are likely to eventually serve as magnets for this market. It doesn't mean it's going to happen, you know, tomorrow or even this week or next week. Um, but eventually the market, you know, does tend to fill in these areas. Okay, now with that in mind though, like I said, this is not, in my opinion, where you wanna be shorting this market because you would be shorting blindly into a very aggressive rally. So with that in mind, if we move out here and look at the last year and a half of price action, okay, what you're gonna notice here is that we've got this channel off of these lows down here and these highs. So this is what we've talked about before and the top of this channel comes in right around 1.309 and we've then got this high up here, which obviously was a very prominent high for the pound because not only was this the 2023 high, okay, but you can see that going all the way back here, right, this high was the highest the pound had traveled since going all the way back here to March of 2022. So there was a lot of time between this area here and this high. So this is an incredibly significant high for the pound to where 13040 is going to be resistance but furthermore this is an area that we could see the pound actually take out here over the coming days okay so if we map this out this is the top of our channel right here right around 13090 we've then got the uh 2023 high up there around 13140 okay so this is going to be our resistance area to watch here for the pound but keep in mind like i said uh there is a decent chance we actually see this market take this area out right before we get some type of correction. Okay, so this is the area to watch though, 13090 to 13140, that not financial advice, but you should be looking to this area if you are long here as a critical resistance area. Okay, now support, if the market does close above 1.3 today, all right, so this area back through here, then this is going to flip to new support. Okay, so let's turn this green here so we know that this is support. And this is our current range, right? With the market closing above this area, okay? So clear enough, right? 130 is support, 130, uh, 90, all the way up toward about 130, 140 is gonna be resistance. Now, this is a case where, in my opinion, if you were able to get long um, down here in this area, so on this reclaim back here that we talked about, right? Getting long through here made a lot of sense because the market was still kind of coming off of this low, right? But as you get higher here, as you get up toward like 1.3, and especially this area up here, it makes little sense to try to long this market. And at that point, you're really just FOMOing it, in my opinion. Um, so yes, this is going to be support. If you are an intraday trader, that could be something to watch there for that move up here toward the top of this channel, right? But if you're a swing trader on the higher time frames, this is a case where, in my opinion, you probably want to take a back seat and just kind of watch what happens here and watch if we do get a deviation above this key area. So that brings me to my next point. I'm sure a lot of people are, are wondering, when is the euro and the pound going to rotate lower? When are they going to correct and, you know, stop this crazy rally that we've seen here over the past few days? And here's the thing. This becomes very simple when you understand that the only thing right now that's going to confirm a correction for this market, really confirm it, not guarantee it, but confirm it, is going to be a close above areas like this, followed by a close back below, okay? So you get the daily close above, you get the daily close back below or up here in this area. You get the daily close above, daily close back below. All right, so that is the only thing that's gonna confirm a correction here in my opinion, and that's different than a pullback, right? We could see a little pullback into 1.3. That's not what I'm referring to here. I'm referring to something more substantial. Okay, so the only way in my opinion that that's gonna occur is if we do get the market coming up here either above 1.3, so closing above today, and then closing back below, right? Something like this, or you get the move up here toward this area, you sweep this area, and then you get the close back below, right? Something like that could set up a short opportunity here for this market, but without this occurring, 
there is nothing confirmed to show that a correction is likely. Okay, so that's incredibly important when you look at this market because I think a lot of people, um, a lot of traders, what tends to happen is they see a market move up this aggressively and they think there's no way that it can continue this and it's got to pull back. So they just start shorting on the way up here and they're just losing money every single time, right? So the way to avoid that is just stay patient, wait for a fake out slash deviation to occur. All right, now looking at the DXY here, um, because this is also going to be significant when you start talking about the odds of a correction from the pound or the euro. And we have the DXY breaking below this channel that we've talked about. Okay, so as long as the market is below this area around 101.9 here for the DXY, there is no confirmed correction for the euro or the pound. Because this is what we've talked about for the past few days. That so far, going all the way back here to 2023, we've had the DXY moving within this channel. Now, the failure to climb above 106.5 recently hinted at weakness, as did the break below this trend line, right? So we had the market rotating lower here, once again, pressuring support. This looked, you know, relatively weak for this market. And now we have a trading below that channel. Okay, so when we look at this on the daily, this is what it's going to come down to. If you're trading the euro or the pound or really any major currency pair, what you're going to want to watch is this area through here. Okay, so I'm going to remove this for now. And we're going to make this area through here resistance, okay? So we've got resistance up here, and we then have our key support area right down here, okay? So 100.85. Now, the reason that's significant is if you'll notice out here, we've got this low from back here, which was obviously a very significant low for the DXY. We've also got this low through here, and this was reclaimed back here in 2023, okay? So this was the fake out below this area, that I talked about on this channel and that we played uh, dollar strength during this entire time. Okay, so 100.85 is going to be significant for the DXY to the point where we could even see the market sweep this low down here uh, in combination with the pound sweeping that high that we just talked about. Okay, so right now, guys, the DXY is obviously bearish as long as it's below this box up here. Okay, 100.9 all the way up toward about 102.2. If it's below this, then we're bearish, right? If it can reclaim this over the coming days, then that would be bullish. But right now, I don't see that happening without a retest down here right around 100.5. And today's session is kind of telling you that too. We're seeing no strength come into this market so far with the market just trading here at session lows. Okay, so for now, guys, what I think we could see here from the DXY and the inverse for the pound would be something like this here where we get the, the sweep of this low from back here in uh, late 2023, this one back here. Right, so we get a move down here, sweep that low, and then from there we potentially get a bounce. Now, where the DXY goes after that is going to be critical because this up here is going to be a very strong resistance area. Now, if the DXY were to reclaim that, then that would be very bearish repairs like the pound. And you can't rule anything out in these markets, especially this year. Um, but right now, guys, again, the market is bearish while below 100.9. We've got 100.85 as key support. Okay, so you can use this in combination with the pound because, it, again, it does move inversely to uh, that pair. So when we look at this here, that probably lines up with, again, this area up here around 130, 140. So we probably see the market come up here, retest this area, and then potentially sweep that high going all the way back here to 2023 before we get a larger pullback here for the pound. Subscribe to the channel and click the bell for notifications. Don't forget to, to claim your 90% off lifetime access to VIP. See the link in the description of this video, or if you're on the website, click on that join VIP link. Trade well out there, and I will talk to you again tomorrow.